The IT industry has been a great growth area for employment in many fields of expertise and one area in particular that is relatively new in this country and growing rapidly is computer animation. Today IT editor Ms Megabyte has this report on how it all works. Welcome to the world of computer animation. You can meet aliens, fairies, and even dragon slayers. Let's go see how it's done. This is the silicon-powered engine room of Momentum Animations in South Melbourne. And here, a talented team of animators are creating all sorts of tricks on their PCs. Technical director Cameron Crichton explains the process of turning drawings into 3D moving characters. We get our concept artists to work up uh a bunch of drawings using um, various different styles. Uh, we pick out which one is most suitable. From there, we scan them into the computer, uh, create a rotoscope, which is basically a template uh, drawing, which we'll work from, and then build the mesh over the top of that. The mesh is like a, a chicken wire construction, which we will then apply textures to and associate the mesh to bones within the arms and the hands, and fingers, etc., um, which we then animate. And at what point do you start to create the animation, the moving, the moving bits? Okay, that's usually after a period of about, you know, a week or two weeks of development on the character, where we've set up constraints to make the character work the way that the animators uh, are most mm -hmm. suited to. Um, it allows the character to move around as a humanoid um, character. I live by the code of the dragon slayer. Honor to thy kingdom, respect to thy foe, courage in battle. Voices are then added and lip synced before it's ready for compile. No reward is necessary, your majesty. It is enough that I live by the dragon slayer code. Honor to thy kingdom, respect to thy... Oh, please. Dylan Perry co-founded Momentum five years ago and is the director responsible for the finished product. Each shot is rendered by a thing called a render farm, which is a big stack of computers that are uh, allocated each individual frame. So there's 25 frames of animation per second, and every frame is uh, sent to a different computer, and that computer calculates what the scene's going to look like. So what it does is it, uh, we assign our colours and our materials to all the objects, and it, it's called rendering, it basically colours it in so that we have a finished frame. And all those frames are stored on our server, which is another big computer. And then all of those uh, shots are then pulled into then some editing software. And each individual shot is then compiled to our video system. In terms of the editing process, the, we work quite differently to the way you would say if you're making a TV show or, or film, because the way that 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 works is you shoot a lot of footage and then you cut out the bits that you don't want. But well, we don't actually work with anything that we don't want ever because it's a lot of work and it's very labour intensive. So we start at storyboard stage and we have a whole lot of storyboards and we cut and edit our, our piece before we actually uh, do any 3D at all. So that way we know that we're not going to have any wasted animation and it's a much more efficient production process. Just like the waves of the ocean, this is Australia's leading female country and western singer Gina Jeffries' latest music clip, created here by the Momentum team. Okay, so how on earth did you get Gina into the forest scene like that? Well, she's shot on the green screen and what the software allows us to do is remove everything that's green. So we actually had to make sure she didn't have any green on her. When she turned up to the shoot, she had little green flowers ready to go in her hair and we had big attacks saying, no, 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 we can't have any green. So we had to go and paint all the flowers a different colour. Um, yeah, what we do is we, we extract her off the green and once she's extracted, we can then position her anywhere within the frame we like. Uh, we get a background image which is made in 3D and put her onto that image and then we also make foreground elements so we may have some leaves or some plants in front of her uh, that she can move behind. Our main service at local broadcast industry is, is post-production and animation content for TV commercials, uh, television openers, so uh, we've just, just done an ad for the new Schweppes commercials that are out. You might think this is all too high tech, but with your home PC, the right software and a really good training course, you too could have fairies eating out of your hand. Be gone!
Miss Megabyte with an angel or a fairy, whatever you want to call it. And the video clip of the song The Angel by Gina Jeffries, which we saw earlier, is in line for a national award at the Australian Effects and Animation Festival today. And if you want more information about Ms. Megabyte's stories, you can go to her website at getmega.com.au. And I think Gina Jeffries is on our show tomorrow morning. We've got more of today after this break, so stay with us on today.